Hello, Gemini, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, good news, sunny and cool again today. You've had the moon in your sign really since yesterday, Sunday. And if we could recap, that was following a major spiritual conference with your higher self. At least that's how I put it on Friday. We had a full moon in Taurus. It hit you right up in the house of higher self, faith in yourself, faith in the universe. Might have come across as a test of faith that things will work out for you because there was a backwards motive. I'll talk about that in a second. Either way, then on Sunday, after being so up high in your higher self and vibration, the moon comes down into your ego, and I think you've been sunny and cool since. So things should be pretty nice for you right now, emotionally. You're in nice tranquility with the world. Now, the sun, all right, on the other hand, that's where the work is. The sun's in the house of your health and daily reality and daily routines. And Geminis are fed up with their daily reality. They've been saying that to me off camera, and even people writing me from camera, being on camera and watching the show. And this first chapter, and part of that full moon in Taurus, where you were brought up with counsel and your higher self, it was about exposing what behavior in the moment is adding up to that or causing that to manifest when you don't want it to. So things will fall apart with plans, etc. right now, especially if it relates to commuting to work or work or health. This is a time where you really come to terms with any dis-ease that you have as well. This is the annual Look at Your Health Month, too. And right now in the first chapter, I just want to say to you, Gemini, don't panic. This is a time of really just realizing what's not working. But the one thing I do want to point out that's very important that we forget about, Mercury is still in retrograde and will be for an entire week, which is your ruling planet. So it affects you more than any other sign, you and Virgos, but you the most. So that means you are rethinking still a part of your life. And that is the creative expression of your soul. You may think you know what you want to do, but the universe says there is more revelation coming as Mercury retrogrades and you back up, back up, back up, keep thinking, bigger picture, bigger picture. And then an aha moment comes and Mercury goes direct. So don't sign any contracts for any uh, uh, creative projects. Don't engage or assume a romance will last too long until Mercury goes direct in a week or so. All right, Gemini, that's all I got for today. See you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So